Hey YouTube family, I wanted to kind of show you what I've been working on besides my online teaching. But I've been making masks and I, we all know these are not like the medical ones that actually block out the viruses. We know that, but um, it may get to where we have to wear these. I would recommend wearing them anyway when you go out somewhere. and. I know in the state of California, it is now a law that you have to wear it and you will be fined a thousand dollars if you do not have one on. So people are going to need masks and the medical ones, of course, are not available. So the best bet is to make one. Now you can make these with pockets to put a filter in. Mine do not have pockets. They do take a while to make and, um, you know, I don't know, I debate. I could add a pocket and then you can put like a coffee filter in the pocket if you want to. But my thing is if you wanted to, you could put a fold up a paper towel and put it there. Okay, I got fuzzies. Um, put it in front of the mask before you put the mask on and that would be the same thing as having the pocket for the filter. So right now I'm just trying to get them made for my family members and um, I'm still not done just doing that. So um, yeah, this right here, this whole row is for my one of my sisters who, and my parents live with her, and then I have a nephew, so I made a smaller one for him, and um, he likes cats, so I did a cat one, so he's got two of the superheroes or whoever they are and so forth. I had a little bit of Star Wars material, so I made some Star Wars ones. Um, I have a sister who works at a veterinarian clinic, so I made her one with paws. She's currently wearing them because of her job. And then she's got a one-year-old, two-year-old, one-year-old. Anyway, um, anyway, basically for kids under three, it'd be really hard to get them to wear a mask anyway. But I went ahead and made a smaller one. If anything, just put them on and take a picture to remember this time that we're going through. And so this is what I've been working on. I still have, I've got a lot ready to go to make. And the hard part, I had to switch out between thread. That's not the hard part. And, um, but then I'm thinking, you know, who cares what the thread color is, but I do try to use a, a white thread for like these and then a darker thread for those. And then there's part of me that's saying, you know what, just sew them. So, um, see, I've got some more cut out. I'm just using the material that I have on hand because I don't want to go out and buy any and I don't need to be spending money. And so here's another one. And you notice that here, I'm actually using yarn for the ties. I was making ties like this, and oh my goodness, this takes forever to make these ties. And so you try to think, what can you use? Um, people have said the elastic gets um, irritating when you have to wear them for a long time. And the ties are simple, they don't, they're not gonna, you just tie it over your head one kind of high on your head in the back and the other around your neck area and it stays pretty good. Um, so I had this yarn which doesn't ravel when it's at the end so that's kind of good. I also have this which I think would be really good. It's really thin though so I don't know if I can catch it when I'm sewing and you don't want it to pull out but it's like t-shirt material so it would tie really nice. The one thing about it is, of course, the colors. You see my colors over there. They do not match anything I have. Um, so that's a little frustrating. So this is, um, this is the pattern that I'm using. So it's not the one that folds up or has the pleats. It's just, and I think I've put a picture of me in one. I'll add one at the end of this video as well. So these are some I already have made and let me show you some that I'm get, getting ready to iron. All right, so I have this pile here and I'm getting ready to iron them down so they're easier to sew. And there's some purple and I just have a solid purple to put on the inside. 
Uh, my daughter-in-law likes purple, so I was going to make her some of those. And then I had some, my lawn mowing guy is here. I can't afford to pay him, but he's still mowing my lawn. So I'm very thankful for that. I had some matte material. Uh, masks are really hard to make for men because you don't want to make something, you know, girly for them. But I had this, so I'm making some like that for some of my nephews. And just with a dark blue inside. And then I also had some of this right there. So, yeah, I think that would be okay for guys. So what I do is I'm going to press them here. And then I'll go back over and sew the two pieces together with the ties inside. Turn it inside out. Iron it down. And then I do a top stitch. So that's what I've been up to. What have y'all been up to during this quarantine? I hope everybody's doing okay. I'll talk to y'all later.